Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your PlayStation 5 controller on your Windows 10 PC when you're playing Steam games. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So that is right, you can now officially use your PlayStation 5 controller on your Windows 10 PC when you're playing Steam games. And this is very easy to do. So I have this USB to USB-C cable right here that I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my PC and then to my controller. So I'm gonna plug it into the front USB slot on my computer. Now let's go ahead and connect my PlayStation 5 controller right here and it's officially connected to my PC. Now you may be having some problems trying to play Steam games right now because you have to configure the controller first. And another thing I have to point out is if you are trying to use the PlayStation 4 wireless adapter for your PC with your PlayStation 5 controller, don't buy this because it doesn't work. Sony needs to come out with an official PlayStation 5 adapter or an update to use this controller wirelessly on your PC as of February 2021. So this may change in the future. So let's switch over to my desktop now that my controller is connected. So if you have Steam running in the background on your computer, so I have it here running in the background, and I go ahead and press the PlayStation controller, it's going to actually open up Steam. So Steam has opened up, and I didn't even press it on the computer whatsoever. If I go ahead and press it again here, I can go ahead and launch it into big picture mode. I just held down the PlayStation button and it's launching into big picture mode. And if you are having problems, you know, with actually connecting your PS5 controller to your PC, just do a quick restart. I actually had that problem and everything was working after that. Now that I'm in big picture mode to actually use this controller in Steam games and prevent like some kind of error, what you'll want to do is go to settings here, select that, and then go down to controller settings. Once we're under controller settings, make sure this is checkmarked right here, PlayStation configuration support. If you do not have this checkmark, when you launch like um, a Destiny 2 or some other controller supported game, you won't be able to use this unless you have this checkmarked. So I have that checkmark. You do have the option to go to your controller and you can go through this different list rename your controller, uh, rumble preference, player slot LED with multiple controllers. And then you can change the light and the light bar settings. And you got a bunch of other different options on here as well. So now let's go ahead and launch a game. So I'm gonna go to my library, go to Destiny 2 and launch this game. All right, so the game is now loaded up and I'm using my PlayStation 5 controller for the movement. And it actually feels pretty good. Now, I don't have any haptic feedback at the moment. I don't know if they'll be adding that in or if it'll be game supported. But right now, I can just use it on my PC, which is good enough for me. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 5 tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios. What's up, dude?